It was good. It was good. You know, I had fun here. It was, uh, it's good seeing all the guys, talking to coach staff a little while ago, and um, hoping to see some of the players now, and um, good to see you back. You've been part of some pretty special questions of talent. Where did those, that year and a half that you guys had together sort of rank for you? Yeah. And what you guys were able to do? I mean, it's it's up there, obviously. Um, you know, we didn't get it. We didn't get it done, and we wanted to, you know, win the World Series, obviously. But yeah, as far as just pure talent and team, I think last year was, you know, 111 wins is pretty hard to do. So um, that was a special team. Uh, a lot of good players. Um, really cool sharing the clubhouse with a lot of them. Freddie for the first time. Uh, Mookie's obviously over there, and then you know the pitching's always great, and Clayton and whatnot. So um, yeah, I would say last year was probably. Uh, top of the list for sure. When you guys were doing infield work before games, could you have envisioned Mookie Betts starting game for shortstop? Yes, uh, I kind of, I told, or I kind of thought that would happen um, once I saw the Luxie news, uh, which was very unfortunate. Um, once I saw that, I thought that would that would be a possibility, just because he's uh, he's a freak and um, he's played second, so why not move him over and let him play short? But um, I text him after that. Of course, he makes a you know nice double play the first first time he's out there. And, um, <laughs> But yeah, it doesn't, doesn't spread. Were you surprised as far as uh, your expectations of playing here on the West Coast? Were you surprised as far as how much you enjoyed it and how you kind of fit in so well? Uh, I don't know if surprise is the right word. Um, but yeah, like you said, I thought I fit in good. I thought I really enjoyed it. Um, it's definitely different. Um, I think it's you know, just East Coast, West Coast is different it's for you know different reasons or whatever it may be. But uh, yeah, I liked it a lot. And, um, I don't know what the surprise was, but I tried going in with open open eyes and uh, open mind, and um, you know, I had fun. There's kind of a narrative out there that you, under no circumstances did you want to stay long term on the West Coast. If the Dodgers would have pursued you, would you have entertained that idea? For sure. I, uh, I entertained one West Coast team. I, I definitely would have uh, entertained another, um, especially one that I enjoyed and, and played at and was familiar with. So. Um, yeah, it didn't work out, um, but I definitely would have considered it, would have uh, entertained it, and, and um, you know I thought they would would be on me. They weren't, but it would have been uh, you know definitely my top few teams to uh, to join. I'm surprised. Are you surprised they didn't make that big effort to try to bring you back? Um, I don't know. I, I you know I had conversations. Once again, I don't know if surprise is the right the right word. I had you know conversations with them in uh, spring training last year, and um, you know that didn't work out. So uh, once that happened, um, you know, I think anything's possible. So I wasn't really surprised, but um, it's a business. I you know I told uh, Andrew and them um, just be honest with me, and I'll be honest with you. And I thought we had great communication. Um, you know, I tip my cap to him, and uh, he communicated really well um, the time I was there, and that's all I asked of them. So. Um, like I said, it just didn't work out, but but yeah, they uh, no no uh, no contact there. To try a different word was it maybe disappointing, or like was there a point where you would have liked to be able to have that chance? To um, stay I think uh, I don't I want to be careful because like this yeah. point is not right either. But but I think uh, it's the same thing as getting traded, right? It's like uh, you're like mad you got traded, but then obviously the team wanted you, so you're like, man, I just played there. Did they not want me type deal? But uh, I don't think that's necessarily fair either. So, um, like I keep saying, it's the nature of the business. It's just gonna work out. But, um, but yeah, I think you know you you want that uh, kind of two-way street. You want that um, I don't know love, I guess you could say. But um, you know, I think I think they you know the relationships that I built were uh, very good for me, and, and uh, you know I enjoyed it. Was there a moment that you kind of realized you wouldn't be here long term? Was it? Sort of spring training, or was it? Do you still kind of go into the oh, winter no, no, expecting no. them to reach yeah. out? No, yeah. From the conversations I had, um, you know, they told me they would uh, they would be there in free agency and have conversations and stuff. But then once free agency opened and, and uh, we didn't have too much contact, or didn't really talk to them very, very much. I think it might have been one or two phone calls for the you know two months or so. Um, you know, kind of after that first week or so, I kind of figured that that was a possibility. Um, but like I said, I didn't want to close any doors. You never know what's going to happen. Free agency was wild, um, and uh, anything can happen at any time. So uh, I kind of had a feeling then, but definitely not while you know while I was here. I, I didn't I didn't get that. You mentioned that conversation in the spring, like came in at that point where you kind of considering maybe staying here long term, or were you, was there still kind of a feeling out process? You were still relatively relatively new. Yeah, no, I I, I thought um, you know when you have conversations, they say that. We're gonna make an offer, or we want, you know, we want you here. Then you you've got to play it out in your head, right? So um, definitely went through with my 
my family, me and my wife, and um, we looked at everything just like kind of free agency a little bit, and um, and we considered it and, and played it out. But then when you know the numbers don't get there or nothing happens, then then you don't necessarily have to think about any more worth of your time, I guess. But um, but yeah, no, when that conversation happened, for sure. When you get clearly, they never actually made you an offer. No. When you get to first base, do you think Freddie's gonna remind you that you guys have the same amount of stolen bases? <laughs> oh, probably. Uh, Freddie's gonna remind me a lot of things, but uh, he's uh, he's got me so many. No, that's not good. Um, <laughs> but he's fast. He's got he, well, he got what 10, 11 last year. He's probably trying to get another career high. So um, the rules are set up for him, and. and uh, I respect it. I respect it. Are you saying the rules are set up for Freddie Freeman? For, <laughs> for, I think the rules are set up for first baseman to steal more bases. <laughs> hey, yes. Trey, while you were here, how obvious was it to you that Mookie Betts like really wants to play shortstop? Like, how, how much did he make that? Oh, I don't know. I think he wanted to play second base for sure. I don't know if the shortstop was necessarily obvious, but uh, he definitely loves playing second base. And I mean, he's out there every day taking ground balls. So um, that was that was definitely obvious. And I asked him, why don't you play second? He said, because they paid, paid me a lot of money to play right field. And, um, and then he told us the Dustin Pedroia story. Like, I didn't know he came up as a second baseman and stuff, and then had to move to the outfield because Dustin Pedroia. So um, made sense. But yeah, no, he, he loves it for sure. Do you admit him with it? How good do you think he could be out there at short? Uh, just as good as you know anybody, or just as good as he is at right field. Uh, he's talented, man. Um, plays like a, I always say, he plays a different right field. Uh, the way he just cuts off baseballs. And, Every throw is so accurate and on the money. Arm strength, obviously, just being part of it, and learning, and um, just that winning mentality and that winning franchise from the top down. And, uh, just knowing what it takes to to do that each and every year, I think, is so hard. And um, you know, I, I we did that when I was here, and obviously, they've done it before I was there. But uh, just a little bit of everything. I think it was it was special. The weather, this place is fun to play at. Uh, feels beautiful. So um, just a little bit of everything. You mentioned you got to talk to the coaching staff a little bit. Do you know like, who all you got to speak to? Uh, Dino, Clayton, um, RVS, uh, Bates, I think um, might have done one or two more. Yeah, pretty much everybody. Yeah, but everybody, but I didn't, I didn't see Doc and uh, some of the players yet, so I'm going to try to say what that Austin was out here at 230 looking for you. Who was? Barnes. Was he? Uh, I got a FaceTime from Lux at like 2 o'clock, asked me where it was, so um, all these guys are still giving me a hard time. Uh, no surprise there, but um, but yeah, it's going to be good to see them. Thanks, Trey. Thanks.